Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video where we're gonna talk about utility maximization with multiple constraints. So in this case, we're gonna be working with a tractable example. And in fact, all our examples from here on out are gonna be tractable examples because they're easy to check that way. Without having some assumption on what these values are, we're not gonna be able to go and see if these constraints are going to be violated or not at particular optimums. So he's maximizing his utility with respect to a budget constraint and a ration constraint. Our budget constraint is, you know, just the usual interpretation. You have cash in your pocket and the prices of goods uh, that you can go and purchase. And the ration constraint that we go and we have here is that there has to be a ticket or a coupon that goes and goes with each one of the goods that are purchased there. So there's two things. This usually happens in the case where there is, you know, wartime uh, efforts or, you know, rationing of particular goods that are happening. So. In order to go and solve this, we're going to write down our consumer's problem to be as generic as possible while noting our coefficient values. After we're going to write down a generic Lagrangian with respect to a single constraint, we're then going to solve for our, I guess, generic demand functions here with respect to our uh, price values or our input costs or, you know, our unit costs that are there and you know the objective value of the constraint capital ri uh, step number four is that we're going to plug our coefficients into our generic demand equation and check for the optimum at each constraint so step number one is that we're going to write this as generic as possible so this is going to be similar to what we did in our previous video in the introduction where we're just going to anonymize our data while keeping our information uh, about all our inform about all our stuff right here in this box Right? We want to save this, but we want things to be nice and clean for us. We're then going to go and write our generic Lagrangian right, with respect to this stuff. Right? Note that the reason why we're able to do this is because our constraints are linear. So we're abusing this linearity. And then we're going to go and solve for our optimums here. Right? In step number three, our calculus and algebra is skipped. And the reason why we did this is because this is exactly the same as solving util a utility maximization problem with respect to one constraint. We're just producing out a generic demand equation that we go and we have with respect to this capital R and lowercase r that is there. So these are just you know usual Cobb-Douglas uh, type preferences. For step number four, we're gonna go and now plug in our actual coefficient values to pull out an actual quantity. I can tell you right away that constraint number two is gonna be violated just by going and looking at this stuff here. So this is just a 90 degree uh, rotated uh, greater than symbol, right? We can go and we can see the quantities that you pull out from constraint one is going to be a, a bigger than that of constraint two. So that's going to violate the constraint. But, you know, sometimes this isn't the case. If we were to go and then take this and plug this in, plug this into our constraints, like meaning one cons for constraint one, the optimum that we get there, we're going to plug that into constraint two. And for constraint two's optimum, we're going to plug that into constraint one. Um, and we're going to check if those constraints are satisfied. What we end up with is a case where we have constraint one's optimum. Uh, that's going to go and violate constraint number two. So this here is violated. That's what we go and we have down here. But constraint number two, right, it's going to be satisfied at constraint one's optimum. So I can go and tell you right away that the inputs that we're going to be choosing for our optimum here are going to be these ones down here. So that's you know the most basic tractable case for utility maximization with two constraints let me know what you thought take care